Hello, my name is Keith Brooks, Head of Business Development for Amazon Web Services AWS GovCloud US region. Welcome to the AWS webinar entitled Achieving ITAR Compliance with AWS GovCloud US. Today I'll be sharing more information on how you can better address international traffic and arms regulations in the cloud. I'll be reviewing the different types of ITAR data, discussing compliance with ITAR, and detailing our AWS GovCloud US region, which was built to help customers meet ITAR requirements in the AWS cloud. To start, what is ITAR? International traffic and arms regulations control the export of defense-related articles. The regulation states that a non-US person cannot have physical or logical access to the article stored in an ITAR-controlled environment. U.S. persons are defined as individuals who are either U.S. citizens or U.S. green card holders. ITAR compliance requires customers to ensure that information considered technical data by the U.S. munitions list is not inadvertently distributed to foreign persons or foreign nations. Technical data may only be shared with U.S. persons. ITAR essentially controls the handling, export, and sharing of technical information pertinent to the defense of the United States as defined by the U.S. munitions list. The United States munitions list covers technical materials including but not limited to equipment, components, materials, software, and technical information. Technical data requiring ITAR controls is defined as information which is required for the design, development, manufacture, assembly, operation, repair, testing, maintenance, or modification of defense articles. This includes information in the form of blueprints, drawings, photographs, plans, instructions, or documentation. There are 21 classifications of items covered on the U.S. munitions list. These items are subject to the export handling procedures as defined by ITAR. As you can see on this chart, ITAR controlled articles on the U.S. munitions list can cover articles such as firearms, munitions, launch vehicles, explosives, aircraft carriers, planes, spacecraft vehicles, chemical compounds, and many other defense related articles. The U.S. munitions list classification most pertinent to cloud computing workloads covers technical data. So how does ITAR compliance apply to the cloud? First, as previously mentioned, ITAR compliance in the cloud focuses on ensuring that information considered technical data by the U.S. munitions list is not inadvertently distributed to foreign persons or foreign nations. Technical data may only be shared with U.S. persons. Second, it's important to note that movement of ITAR controlled data into and within the cloud can constitute export of that data. So how does AWS support ITAR workloads? AWS provides customers with the option to store, share, and work with their data in AWS GovCloud US, Amazon's cloud region managed solely by US citizens on US soil. AWS GovCloud is Amazon's isolated cloud region where root accounts are only granted to vetted US persons working for US organizations. Since AWS does not have any visibility into or knowledge of what customers are uploading into its network, including whether or not that data is deemed subject to ITAR regulations, AWS treats all customer data within the GovCloud region as ITAR data. AWS GovCloud is purpose-built to host ITAR controlled data. It's worth noting that there is no formal ITAR certification. However, AWS demonstrates ITAR compliance by providing cloud infrastructure that's managed by vetted U.S. citizens and operated on U.S. soil, with restricted root account access to U.S. persons only. In addition to meeting ITAR requirements, AWS GovCloud also is also continuously audited by Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program, independent third-party assessor, and has been issued a FedRAMP High Joint Authorization Board, or JAB, Provisional Authority to Operate, or ATO. The key features of the AWS GovCloud US region include 
the fact that GovCloud is physically and logically isolated from all other AWS regions, including other US regions. The region is managed and operated by AWS personnel that are US citizens located on US soil. And GovCloud offers other compliance related features beyond ITAR compliance, including but not limited to FedRAMP, DOD SRG, CEGIS, and HIPAA. How does the AWS shared responsibility model apply when customers are transmitting, processing, and storing data subject to ITAR regulations on AWS? AWS is responsible for logical and physical compliance of the cloud, including the infrastructure and core services offered. Customers are responsible for their own on-premises IT infrastructure, applications, and systems. The shared responsibility model is directly applicable to customers' use of AWS GovCloud for ITAR workloads as well. This includes the customer's responsibility for adhering to the ITAR restrictions for each service if storing and or processing ITAR data in the GovCloud region. Each service available in AWS GovCloud has an ITAR boundary, which defines the ITAR restrictions applicable to the service. A service's ITAR boundary defines where ITAR data can be stored and where ITAR data cannot be stored within that service. The ITAR boundary for each service is defined in the AWS GovCloud user's guide located on our AWS GovCloud homepage. To illustrate what the ITAR boundary for a service looks like, let's look at the ITAR boundary for Amazon Elastic Block Store, or EBS. This ITAR boundary table is available for every service available in the AWS GovCloud region. Specifically within EBS, ITAR data is permitted to be entered, stored, and processed on EBS volumes. You will note that ITAR data is not permitted in EBS metadata, which includes all configuration data when creating and maintaining EBS volumes. ITAR data is not permitted in volume names or snapshot names and it's not permitted in image names or image descriptions. As a reminder, an ITAR boundary exists for each service available in the GovCloud region, and details on the ITAR boundary for each service can be viewed in the AWS GovCloud US User's Guide in the specific section for that service. You can learn more about the AWS GovCloud region at www aws.amazon.com forward slash govcloud dash us. Thank you.